Okay guys, so continue tayo dito sa discussion for single reinforced beam. So bali dito meron tayong 330 na beam weight, then 450 yung effective depth. It is reinforced with 425mm diameter bar. So assume single reinforced beam, determine yung ultimate moment capacity provided na yung FC prime is 27.5 megapascal, then yung FY is 414 megapascal. Use 2010 or 2015 NSAP code. So, pag may mga ganitong problem, yung pinakauna talaga yung gagawin is gawin mo muna ng stress diagram. So, balay ito yan. Balay ito. So, ito na yung stress diagram niya. Okay? So, meron tayong effective... Uh, Meron tayong compression block, di ba? At depth of A, ito yan. Then, yung location ng neutral axis, meron tayong C. Ha? So, gawa natin ng stress diagram yan. So, meron tayong dito sa compression block, meron yung compressive stress at 0.85 FC prime. So, dito yung center of gravity niya. So, kung A mo to, so A divided by 2 to. Or kaya ito yan, A divided by 2. So, kukunin mo lang yung volume ng pressure diagram na to. So, yung makukuha mo yan yung compressive force that is equivalent lang nung 0.85 FC prime nung AB. Okay? Then, dito naman sa tensile uh, tension bar, so meron kang tensile force. So, yung moment arm nung CC tsaka yung tensile force, so kung ito effective depth mo to, di ba? Yung ito. So, didakan mo lang nito. So, yung matitira yun yung moment arm nila which is depth minus A divided by 2. Okay? So, once maku ma okay na yung stress diagram mo para tuloy-tuloy yung computation mo, kaya ginaganito natin. Ha? So, next mong gagawin is uh, mag-balance design ka. No? Bakit kailangan mong i-balance design para at least ma-range, uh, alam mo kung saan na yung beam mo, kung over-reinforced ba or under-reinforced. So, yan. Ha? So, kunin natin yung balance design. So, yung balance design natin is we have CB. Kunin ko muna to. We have 600 all over 600 plus D FY times nung effective depth. So, substitute lang natin yung mga value. 600 plus 414 times 450. Okay. Okay. Uh, Gusto ko lang makuha yung C, no? Pero sa computation, kahit hindi mo na computein to, okay lang din, no? Sa akin lang is para para masight ko na agad, no? Kung ano yung expected na na region ko, no? Kasi kaya kong tignan by looking at C. Anyway, uh, computein natin yung C. Ano lang, no? Para at least may range ako sa isip ko. So, 600 all over 600 plus D, 414, that is given. Diba, ito yan. Ito yan, na? Times yung uh, effective depth na 450, so that is equal to 266.272 mm. Okay? So, next mong kukunin ngayon is yung section factor natin. So, beta is just equal to 0.85 if yung FC prime natin is less than or equal 30 megapascal. That is for 2001. And it is less than or equal 28 megapascal pag 2010 or 2015. Pero dito sa case natin is yung FC prime is 27.5. Ang ipapagamit sa atin is 2010 or 2015. So, 27.5 is less than 28 megapascal. So, therefore, I will be using 0 0.85 no? for 2010. So, next natin makuha niyan is kunin natin yung balance steel ratio. So, once makuha mo na yung balance steel ratio, which is using yung formula natin na 0.85 ng FC prime di ba? so 0.85 ng FC prime all over the FY then we have the beta then we have 600 
all over 600 plus DFY. So, sit lang natin yung value. So, we will have 0 0.85 ng 27.5 all over 414 ng 0 0.85 times 600 all over 600 plus 414. Therefore, yung balance natin is just equal to 0 0.0284. So, nakuha na natin yung balance set. So, next natin kukunin is yung sa actual naman mga parameters. Okay. So, kukunin na muna natin yung steel, uh, steel area. That is just N times pi over 4 diameter of bar squared. So, yung N dito is, meron tayong apat na tag-25. So, 4 times pi over 4 ng 25 squared. Therefore, this is equal to 1963.4954 square mm. Okay? So, next makukuha natin yung actual steel ratio ngayon. So, yung subset lang natin yan, 1963.4954. 4954 ito yung actual then meron tayong 330 na width then yung depth natin is meron tayong 450 okay so yung steel ratio natin yan will be oh uh, ilan yan 0. 0.0132 okay so, may kita natin na ito yung balance natin which is 0 0.0284. Then, andito lang yung sa baba yung actual steel ratio natin. So, ibig sabihin that is under reinforced. So, good yung section na ta. Or, namit natin yung ductility. So, good yung section na ta. Okay. Okay. So, since, uh -huh. so, since yung FC natin, uh, since yung steel region natin is less than the balance, so, therefore, this is under reinforced or steel yields. Kaya yung gagamitin natin for FS is just equal FY. Okay. So now, kukunin na natin yung value ng A tsaka yung C. So kailangan lang mamit natin yung equilibrium dito. No? So kailangan stable yung beam section natin. So kailangan yung summation of forces nila along X must be equal to 0. So by summation of forces along X, CC equals the tensile force. So bali dito, by summation of forces along X equals 0, CC equals the tensile force. And CC is 0 0.85 FC prime nung EB and tensile force is ES FS times, ay ah, hindi, FS lang. And then since, di ba? Since yung steel nag yield, so we will be using FS equals FY. So we change yung FS by FY. So, substitute natin yung mga values, 0 0.85 ng 27.5. Ito yung hinahanap natin yung A. Given yung beam width, yung area natin is 1963.4954 times yung FY natin na 414. Therefore, we will have the value A and that is just equal to 105.2. Gawin na lang natin 2 mm. Okay? So, makuha na din natin yung value ng C or yung location ng neutral axis by witness stress block na. So, we will be uh, i-substitute lang natin yung mga values ngayon. So, we will have 105.382. Yung beta natin is 0 0.8. So, therefore, makumpute natin yung value ng C which is just equal to 123.978 mm okay so yan okay yan so once makuha mo na yan so pwede na natin compute yung 
ultimate moment capacity. So, para maku- makuha natin yung ultimate moment capacity, kailangan muna natin makuha yung V factor. Okay? So, kunin muna natin yung V factor. Para tuloy-tuloy yung pag-compute natin ng mga moment capacity. Okay. So, ito pa rin yung kukunin natin, yung FS. And alam natin yung FS is just 600 nung effective depth minus C, e, all over C. So, we have 600, yung effective depth that is given, 450. Ito yan. Ha? So, that is 450. Then, minus nung C natin, yung C is 123.9. 78 all over 123.978 okay so therefore we will have the value of fs and that is just equal to 1577.8 megapascal okay so this is greater than 1000 megapascal so kung ipa-plot natin yan dito sa figure sis, ito yung axis na may FS meron tayong FS400, FS800 FS1000 so assume ko na lang na andito yung andito yung 1577.8 na FS so ibig sabihin nag-fall siya dito na region okay? so sa region na to dito siya nag Okay. So may kita natin na tension controls. And ito yung uh, curve ng V factor. So that corresponds to 0.9. So we will be using 0.9 for V. So we have 0.9 for V. Okay, so makompute na natin yung value ng or pwede rin din natin sabihin dito. No? So, since greater than siya ng 1,000 kung ayaw mo ng graphical, ibig sabihin, this is tension. Pag greater than 1,000 na tumatay yung tension control, so yung gagamitin mo na V factor is 0.9. Pwede rin by condition type. No? So, sa akin lang is graphical. No? Para mas klaro. Okay, so continue tayo in solving for the nominal so unahin ko muna i-completein yung nominal moment so balikan lang natin yung yung dito sa figure di ba? so ito yung nominal natin no? pili ka lang kung in terms of tensile force or in terms of cc kasi yung nominal mo pwede cc times nung Uh, moment arm depth minus A divided by 2 or yung tensile force times yung moment arm na to na D minus A divided by 2. So in this case since yung given natin is mga ESES so I'll be using the tensile force no? sa tensile force okay so yun na no? so set lang natin yung value dito so we will have tensile force times yung moment arm yan na depth minus A divided by 2 And yung tensile force is just ES FS. So since yung since yung steel nagyel, so yung FS daw equals FY. So I'll be using the FY. So FY depth minus A minus depth minus A divided by 2. So substitute natin yung value for the ES that is just equal to 1963. Okay. 1963.4954 Yung FY natin is given 414 Then yung effective depth natin is 450 minus Yung A natin, kinumpute natin yan That is just equal to 105.382 Divided by 2 Okay So, i-divide ko na lang lahat ng 10 to the power of 6 para automatic yung ultimate, uh, yung nominal moment capacity ko is in terms of kilonewton meter and that is equal to 322.968 kilonewton meter. So, mako-compute na natin ngayon yung ultimate moment capacity which is yung MN 
So, yung fee natin, nakuha na natin yan by graphical 0.9. Then, yung MN natin is just 322.968. Therefore, I will have now the value of uh, ultimate moment capacity and that is just equal to 290.67 kN meter. So, ito na yung sagot. Okay? Klaro ba? So, ito yung may nakaligtaan na ako dito. No? Uh, dito pala, yung FS na to, yung mga 400, 800, tsaka 1,000 na yun, nakukuha mo yan by multiplying with the AS. Kasi yung FS, in terms of strain is, ito yung formula. Okay? It's just strain times yung elastic modulus. Yung, alam natin yung elastic modulus ng cell is 200,000 megapascal. No? So, kung lahat nyo nang yan, yung mga points na yan is times mo lang ng 200,000. Ito yung makukuha mong value. However, yung 400 dito, that is your FY. Okay, theoretically. Pero yung given sa problem is iba eh. Diba? Yung binigay sa problem, yung FY daw, ang gagamitin natin is 414 megapascal. So, I'll be using the 414 megapascal instead of 400. Okay? So, FY ngayon, So, yung FY na gagamitin ko dito sa so, graphical ko is 414 and not the 400. Okay? So, I hope uh, clarify yan ha. Bakit tinanggal natin yung 400? Kasi given sa problem na yung FY must be 414. And yung 400 dito, that represent your FY. Okay? So, so far, uh, ito lang. So, so, ano? so, may kita natin na tension control siya. So, yung MU niya is 290.67 kN meter. So, that's it. So, continue na lang tayo sa next video. Thank you.